name is Karin from Extraordinary Fitness, and today we are going to do another hammock flow. Great, let's start the routine. I will go through it step by step. We start in an inverted straddle position. So what I'm doing is I'm pushing my hammock down so it's on my lower back, just above my hip bones. For me, I need it to be above the hip bones if I want to do this one leg hang really nicely. Otherwise, I feel like if it's there, I'm kind of losing the balance. But this is a little bit individual on how your body is built. For me, it has to be just above the hip bones. So I'm pushing them down, placing there and leaning backwards. So now I will take my knees and go with them towards my shoulder while I'm pushing a little bit here, which means I'm inverting. And then I can straighten my leg and I'm in the straddle position. From there, I will place my leg inside the silks, one leg, and the other leg is going back. And I'm in a one leg position. As you can see, because it's above my hip bones, I can push this leg more down and get a nicer shape. So this is for me, but you have to try what works for you. From there, I have also, I have the silks really not on my foot. I have them all the way in the knee pit. This is important because we are going to mount. The same hand, like this leg, which is inside the silk, is going above. So I'm kind of crunching, pushing my leg down in the same time I'm coming up and grabbing there. Now I will take my free leg and go through the silk from the inside and place it in the bandit. So I'm having a little bit grip on the silk here and the other one is kind of on the same side. Both are on the same side of the silk. My second hand, my free hand is going on top to pull myself up one more time. And then this hand, if you need to, either you keep it here and slip your knee to the inside or you push a little bit out so this knee can actually go to the inside and I can slide the silk down to the foot. From there, I can push it back and come into this shape. So I can, you can lean back, you can grab here, you can grab here. You have to push the silk kind of back if you want to come into a nice fit position, push it back and sink down as much as you can and hold it there. The next thing which happens is that you are going backwards. So I'm going away from my hands with my back back, keeping the position of the feet for now. Coming here, getting my this leg, which has been on the foot fixed, is going through first and releasing. And my other knee is going as well through the middle and pushing down. So my foot is going to slide down here, off, and I'm coming here. And as you can see, I'm already inside here, so I'm pushing myself through and there I am in the layback position, basically. So there you are in the layback position. From there, my left hand goes back, the opposite hand of the leg, which is having the silk around. So you are pulling this knee up, which has the silk around the leg, which means you will slide down with your hip and the opposite arm is holding here and you are in a small like package position. From there, I am straightening this leg. The leg still the one which is in the silk and the other leg goes through. I put my ankle on the silk. Right, I will turn to you so you see it properly. So the leg is straightening from the bent position, just straightening. I'm leaning backwards, pushing my hip up, taking my free leg, placing it on the silk and then I'm pushing my hip through into a mermaid shape. From there, my free leg goes through again, through the middle to the back. My body and this hand is following through, keeping that leg straight, so I'm pushing here, going through. Now you can place this hand here, go through all the way, and basically just bend the other leg. It will kind of come natural. You will feel it when you do it, that everything kind of falls natural. When you bend, you can again sink down and this hand stays on the silk. Your left hand, the opposite, can grab your foot and you can pull it again in a nice shape. From there, to come out, take your free arm, go between your other arm and the silk here, slide it through, pass the silk behind your back and there you are in one leg again, free. Yeah. This is the whole routine. You will have to do it. You will have to try it yourself. Maybe do it in break in pieces, do one piece, figure it out. 
look at the next piece on the video, try it, figure it out and then do it. It kind of always with these things, after a while they go smoothly or they, they make sense when you do them. The most important is that, you know, do you have to go with your legs through the middle or around? Do you have to bend your leg from the inside or from the outside? This is kind of the points which are important. So you are placing yourself right because afterwards once you go with your leg through the middle and you bend the other leg your body kind of and you go with your body through the rest will follow so afterwards once you have the whole routine you can put it on spin it looks really beautiful you can do some parts faster or slower like depending on the music you are choosing and you have a really nice hammock flow which is not like dangerous in any way because you're all the time kind of supported and then you of course work on your splits make them smoother and work on your mobility and you have a very nice hammock piece i hope you like it um, as i said share it with others and i really really hope you have fun with it leave a comment below if you have any questions or need any feedback or pointers i'm really happy to help and see you next wednesday for a new tutorial thanks for watching bye